Hello, just a fun fact for you. I went to give blood the other day, and I tell you what, never again. So many questions, like, what do they ask me now? How, why is there so much? Why is it in a bucket? Whose is it? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another Marty's unboxing video, another Christmas themed one. I hope you can see this uh, uh, Christmas tree in the background there. It's a beautiful one, I've upgraded to the deluxe model. I must have been a very good boy this year because I've got all these lovely wrapped Christmas presents from Santa and I got them early. So I'm going to be unboxing those very soon. So without further ado, oh hang on, what's, hello, Kevin's here. What do you want to pull a cracker do you? Ah oh, right, because it's a Christmas themed unboxing to make it more Christmassy we're going to pull a cracker. Alrighty then, are you ready? Three, two, Bang! Wow, look at that. <laughs> Hang on, ready? It's oh, the best bit. What have you got? Let's see what he's got. What have you got, Kevin? Oh, it's a whistle. Here you go. They're always rubbish prizes, aren't they, in the Christmas cracker? <laughs> okay, get out of here, Kevin. Hang on, test it out. Oh, that's loud. So, the first package today is from Mr. Lewis. Sounds like my school teacher. And he's from Peterborough in the UK. That's all it's got. It says from Mr. Lewis, happy Christmas. I nearly said happy birthday. Actually, you know what? It's my birthday tomorrow, <laughs> 11th of December. So send me a card. Probably a bit too late by the time you watch this, but for next year. All right, let's open this up and have a look. Mr. Lewis Martin. I thought it was Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis Martin, of course. From Peterborough in the UK. Well, let's have a look. Oh, that looks like there might be a letter stuck on this box. Better cut that off and have a look at it. Oh, okay. Hi Marty, thank you for your videos. I've been watching for almost a year now and love them. I'm really into my older classic cars and used to have a load of toys as a kid that had been passed down from my dad, including some matchbox models of yesteryear from the 60s. Recently we were having to clear out the attic and found them again. One is worn out, missing the tyre screen and cover off the back. The other one got missed in. The other one got missed in. Ah! The other one got missed in. And I only noticed it when we were burning all the old boxes and rubbish, so it's slightly fire damaged. I hope you can bring them back to life, as I imagine they will look great on one of your racetrack scenes. Many thanks. Look forward to seeing the unboxing. Lewis Martin from Peterborough. Thank you, Lewis. Let's have a look. Fire damaged. Oh, oh check the Oh. I guess that's the fire damaged one, but what beautiful little models they are. Jeez, that's, uh, that's a shame you threw, threw that in the fire. <laughs> Let's have a look at this one. Maybe I can read this one. Models of yesteryear number five, the Bentley. Okay, hey, that's not too bad at all. Looks like everything's there, except for the wheel, the tires rather. That's, that one there could be really, really nice, I think. What do you think? I'm happy with that. That's a great start to this Christmas themed unboxing. I can't read what that one says because it's fire damaged. Uh, Mercedes, there we go. If anyone recognizes that, comment uh, in the comments below and tell me if there's anything missing. Uh, well, I guess I don't even bother. I just go on Google and look them up. <laughs> but you know, if you want to comment, comment by all means. I try to answer as many as I can. Sometimes I don't get round to it. So, you have to excuse me if that's the case. Anyway, two great little old motors there to start the show today. So awesome. So Lewis, Mr. Lewis <laughs> from Peterborough. Okay, number two here. Look at this. Wow, this is a heavy one. This is a big one. A lot of metal in here. Mm, this could be, how much time you got? This one's from Mr. Davis. He was my physics teacher. Wow. I'm having all these flashbacks. Oh, these are unpowered cars, it says on the box. Quantity, 1893. Oh no, that's the weight. 
Oh, it's not. Well, whew, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is one of those mixed goodie bags. I'm going to cut the lid off. This is in the way. All right, a little gift from old London town. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, shall I read this? I'm going to read this first. Hello, Marty. Firstly, I thought I'd share... I'd start by sharing the thoughts of many by saying how entertaining and inter interesting I find your videos. Having followed you on YouTube for some time since your humble beginnings, I do find them very informative and a delight uh, seeing the before and after results. I'm sure, as they say, I echo the views of many that watch from around the world. You have certainly, dare I say it, created a monster by the many vehicles you have made rise again the numerous parcels you keep receiving. Considering you only have one pair of hands and a normal job, I take my hat off to you and your family for what you do and their patience. Moving on now, I ventured up into the loft earlier this week to dig out my old Leslie models. They are played with, of course, and I'm donating them all to your good self to do as you wish with them, be it restore for parts or even move on. I know that some of them have been featured in videos previously. However, they have been hiding in the loft, doing nothing for many years, and I wanted them to go to a good home such as yourself. Kind regards, Mark. Mark Davis from Chingford in London. Thank you, Mark. Let's have a look. Not only that, Mark has also sent me some goodies by the looks of it. Some extra special stuff, including a little gift from old London town. And it looks like it's some uh, double-decker London bus themed key fobs for my car keys. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got one there, Oxford Circus, bus number 15. There we are. And, oh, we have another one here. Oh no, this is a, it's a rubber bus which is really useful for if you're drawing in pencil and you want to rub out the pencil, you can use this rubber bus. <laughs> and this one is the number 30. So we've got the number 15, the number 30. So maybe I'll get the whole set, who knows? Uh, that's great, thank you very much for that. Very unusual for all the way from London town. Now, what else have we got here? Something here might be useful for when you need a piece of scrap metal. Oh, okay. <laughs> to make a part. What is this? Oh, what are these things? They're scrapbooking essentials. And they are aluminium tags. And it looks like there's maybe a half a dozen of them in there. Perhaps up to ten. And that's a great idea because only yesterday I had to repair a little aircraft model that you'll probably see in the next week or two. And I was hunting high and low for just that kind of material. Ended up having to cut a car up. Can you imagine that? had to pick a car to sacrifice. Now this is great because these can go into my little storage bins and the next time I need a bit of metal, I'll have the perfect, perfect solution. So that's a great idea. Now what are these? Oh, a big, big packet of stuff. Might be of some use, I'm sure they will be. What have we got here? A hobby tweezer set with some nice little precision looking tweezers there. And some big fat ones for holding fat things. So those are those are going to my toolkit. And 12 artists brushes, which are always handy. You can never have enough brushes when you're in this restoration business. So this is just so cool. I'm loving it. Wow. We've got a few. I don't know. I'll, I'll just should I just get them out first? Right, here we go. Okay, let's have a look here. What have we got? Okay, genuine matchboxes. Oh, yes, I gotta love them. Pointer, a pointer, eight wheel tipper. Beautiful little model. Who didn't have one of these? And the friction block is, is working, or the hydro sleeve as I call them. Bit of a bad news there, the tailgate's missing. Never mind. I've got one of those, I could always do with another one. They are a really nice little model. And they came out in the orange as well. Now, what about this little thing here? So, Mr. Davis. Oh, the blue and yellow tractor. I don't think I've got one of these. I've got the blue one and the green one, but I don't think I've got the blue and yellow one. I don't know whether these were rarer than normal, or maybe I just haven't had one before, but I've got a few tractors, but not that in that color scheme. So that's great. I can see myself doing that up and adding it to my tractor collection. Next up, 
Now, I did one of these too. This uh, Somebody's painted this one, I think. I can. It sort of looks like non-genuine paint on there. It's all over the wheels, and the ladder's missing. What is this one again? The Merryweather. So I reckon someone's had a bash at doing this one up, and they've painted the dial, the hose outlets at the back there as well, that's silver. So something different. Um, only the second one I got, I'm gonna have to 3D print a ladder for that one. Now, this is good, they're all genuine matchbox cars. What's this one here? Here's another one that somebody's done up. See that, they've painted it red again. Is it the same red? Very similar. Well, it's probably the same person that did it. The hook's broken on the back, which is a bit of a shame. Well, there's a bit of play in the jib there. You're not gonna get a roadworthy there. They're all good, genuine matchboxes, I like them. Let's just put them there, because they look so pretty. Next up, I'm rush, rushing through them. Got more prezzies to go. What have we got here? Oh, oh no. This is a weird one. Look at that. That is very strange. It's a Land Rover, obviously, but it's got real wheels on the front and super fast on the back. Now, how weird is that? Very weird, I hear you say. I've never seen anything like it in my life. So, someone's obviously a bit of a, a hobbyist here and they're, they're doing their best to do these things up. Now, I'm excited about this one because this is an old school one. And somebody's had a go at painting this one too. Uh, I must read that letter again, Mr. Lou, uh, Mr. Davis's letter. Did he say he was uh, into doing them up? Now, I do not believe I've got one of these. What is it here? It's the Royal Royal Tiger Coach or Figer. Is it Figer? F-I-G-E-R? Um, and it's an unusual metallic blue colour from from Matchbox, and somebody's painted a white stripe around the bottom of it. But uh, that is a that's a good one because I haven't got that one, and I definitely um, my aim is to have one of each, as you may or may not know. So that is good because I can do that one up and add it to the uh, the c collection. This one here is a trolley bus. I think these must have been electric. London trolley bus. It had a, a pickup on the roof there that's missing. This one here is the Pear Drax Sweet Sparkling Drink uh, brand. Stickers on it and somebody's paint. I mean that side's all good. You can read it but this side somebody's painted over it again with that red paint. So uh, we're getting a theme happening there. Okay another this one's super fast which is not really my cup of tea. The Foden concrete truck. You see, it's Matchbox. When the Hot Wheels came out, they rushed to put all their, their models that they had, so they converted them to these super fast wheels to try and keep up with the Matchboxes. I wish they'd just stuck with what they were doing originally, because these, to me, that, that does not match that in my book. It just does not, it's like, what is it like? Peanut butter and cheese, no. Probably not a good analogy. <laughs> Refuse truck. See, these are the wheels I like, the big hard black ones. And this one's been painted silver. So yeah, definitely. This person's had a lot of fun with their models, with the painting and the, you know, repairing. Mr. Davis. Oh yeah, he dug out his old Leslie models that he had in his childhood. And they are played with, of course, and he's donating them. You know, he didn't mention anything that he, anything about. He was, was painting them up as a kid. What the hell is that? <laughs> it looks like a, f oh, it's the Ford. It must be a Bedford truck, is it? No doors, no windows, no base, no wheels, no original paint on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's actually been damaged at the back there. Like, there's a piece missing. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. That's a real challenge and a half. How could anyone fix that, I wonder? Actually, I might be able to just cut that up and use the metal for making repairs of other vehicles, perhaps. Oops. Oh, you got to love this one. Who didn't have one of these? The old eight-wheel crane. And of course, oh, it's a broken jib on there. Not only is the hook missing, it's broken. Sort of looks a bit rough to me, like maybe that was painted as well by the, by Mark in his youth, in his childhood. There's a lot of play in that too, isn't there? Wow, if only I had that 
six months ago. It would have been in, I could have done that up in my crane get giveaway video. Oh, ice cream van. Now, has he got the cornet? No, his cornet's missing. But worse, his arm has been mangled in the, uh, the frosty machine and he's lost half of his arm as well. So that's very sad. Uh, is there a joke there? Probably is, isn't there? He's out on a limb? No. But yeah, he's lost his arm in an ice cream accident. Lovely model, that ice cream truck, by the way. Oh, I would love to have seen those brand new out of the box. Now, this is another oil tanker. This one is the slightly different. It's eight-wheeler. Wow, it's had a lot of play, this one here. Yes, uh, those wheels are very badly worn. In fact, that one there is nearly falling off. Look at that. It's almost coming off. And it's been painted white over the decals as well. Now, I haven't got one of these in my collection because I haven't got around to doing it up yet. But uh, this is the only BP model that I do not have uh, in, in restored condition. So that's a great reminder for me to hurry up and do it, you know. Okay, a horse box. Once again, it's got those standard matchbox toy with the non-standard super fast wheels on it. It even says on the bottom there, I think. Uh, actually, the, it says super fast, but the base is plastic, is it? It looks plastic. Oh, no, that's, that's where they've modified the base. to. Uh, they've adapted it to fit these wheels on. They put a plastic plate on the bottom there. It looks awful. Matchbox. What were you thinking? Right, now, these are great, I think. I'm excited now because we're up to these big ones. So I'm going to go with the smallest of the big ones first. What have we got? Oh, it's a uh, super fast. Oh, it's a, oh, it's the Dodge. Dodge truck. My God, how many wheels has that got? Let me have a look up here. Oh, it has got the right number of wheels. It just looks so many on that one. And they're all mag wheels. Who puts mag wheels on a truck? And this one here, look, they've made their own towing arm out of a, a, a twisty, twisty bit of wire there. Uh, unusual color too blue and yellow I haven't they probably all came out like that and now that I'm guessing this is the front part of it look at that so I did one of these I'll just briefly show you up there we'll zoom in on it and this is the super fast version of it see if the exhaust stack is broken so many of these the exhaust stack is broken off the top I can't undo this. <laughs> My God. Uh, oh, it's got the complete exhaust on it. There you go. That's very rare to see that like that. Well, it is in my world. Um, okay, so it all works well. Uh, lovely model when it was new. Imagine that, straight out of the box, all fresh and shiny. Bright colors, very, very uh, appealing colors. I like that. And the, the jacks all seem to work too, which is a big bonus. And the, it also has the tailgates still. So it's all complete except for the towing, towing arm here. Uh, that doesn't sit right, does it? It's, sort of a bit, it's a bit heavy at the back there for some reason. What is going on? I don't know, but I'll have to work on that one. It's certainly a little bit dodgy looking. The back end's all loose. Okay, two left to go. I guessed this one, because there's only one model that's this shape and size, and I guessed it. It's the Racing Team, Matchbox Racing Team Transporter. Look at that. Now, this is the second one of these that I've got. One of them I bought back from England to do up for a buddy. I haven't done it yet. Tires are very loose. Look at that. Oh, that's split. Look, that's why. Um, they always, this is the same as the other one I've got. There's nothing on the back here. It looks like maybe there should have been a door on it. And the doors must go missing. Yeah, oh, it's got a massive crack in the top there too, which is very bad. That would be repla need replacing. Now, when I do up the other one, I should do this one up at the same time because it's always easier if you've got two to do two at once rather than one one week and one the next. So I have to order double stickers and some <laughs> tyres. I've probably got some tyres. But I must do some research and find out what's missing off the back there. Put that back on there. And the last one today from Mark Davis in London is something I've never seen before. It looks like a horse transporter. 
but it's on steroids and it is the Matchbox King size number 16 or is that 18? I think it's 16 Articulated Horseman It's made in England and this is an original Matchbox and I like it a lot I haven't done one of these, it's all complete too except for the second axle there is missing but hey that can be fixed Oh and there's seats in there How weird is that? There's seats for people to sit in and admire the view as they're driving along or maybe they park this up at the show and then they do all the horsing stuff and they sit up in there and watch. Yeah. I wonder if that's a real thing. It's probably based on a real vehicle. That's great. This is my favourite thing so far today. But all these other ones here are equally as exciting for me because, you know, when I'm old and crotchety and uh, I've got all these things to do and I've, got, I've just looked forward to having the time to spend on this hobby. I need more time. So thank you very much, Mark. That's a fantastic set of cars there. That's going to be a priority, that thing, because I reckon it's a beauty. So moving on. This one here is from Poland. And it's from Mikhail Mikolaj. I'll start again. It's from Mikolaj Polaski. And uh, look at this. It's all wrapped up with a bow and everything. We have some beautiful Polish postage stamps of lighthouses. Oh, I wonder if these are Polish, Polish model cars. That could be exciting, couldn't it? What have we got here? Uh, there's a letter. Hope it's not written in Pol. Polish. <laughs> no, it's in English. Hi Marty, I watch your channel from a long time and finally I decided to search my cellar for some not so old toys. I played with them less than something around 15 years ago. Unfortunately, they're not matchboxes, they are Siku, but they are just as good quality die casts and nice details. Greetings from Poland, Mikolaj. P.S. Sorry for my imperfect language. I'm sure you can understand everything. Anyway, yes, Mikolaj, I understood everything perfectly. Thank you very much. Now, I did have a malfunction before, equipment malfunction. My microphone stopped working and I unboxed this and I've had to sort of press the reset button and, and wind the clock back. So we're, we're gonna go again. And uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Well, for me anyway. So this is the Centro Liner. It's a bus. It says on it Siku and it's, it says number 1631 underneath. Now, a really nice detailed model, but what really annoys me when I first look at it is the windows here are all bubbly, like they've been melted somehow or reacted I don't know what would cause that kind of bubbling in the window and it spoilt the model. Another thing that disappoints me is the tinted windows because it looks like there's a hell of a lot of detail in there and you can't see it because the windows are so dark. You need to shine a torch in there to see inside. Um, not a bad little vehicle though, except it's got a bit of a flat spot in there. That back wheel there needs pumped up. Needs a bit of air in it. It's, uh, it's dead flat, on, only on the bottom though. See? Anyway, yeah, nice little Siku bus there. What's this one? Open this, open last. Okay. So, second one is an Iveco van. It looks like a camper van, is it? It is. It's a motorhome. And it is the Siku 1022, it says underneath. And it's got the old style sort of matchbox method of securing the base on there with the splayed legs rather than the rivet. Uh, it's got a number plate on the front, can't quite work out what it is. Uh, not a bad little motorhome. And again, the interior is quite detailed. There's a kitchen sink, a uh, table and chairs in there that I can see. Um, a bit scratched up, but a nice little model nonetheless. And the actual wheels on that one, although they're plastic and super fast, they kind of suit the model. Do you not think? I do. So yeah, never seen one of those before, ha ha ha. Uh, I've got to open that one last. So we've got this one and then that's the last one. So this is a little red car, sports car or something. Oh, it's a little sports car thing. That's unusual, it's got like a keyhole underneath. Uh, I can't even see what brand it is. I don't think it's a Siku. It's a Porsche Spider, and it just says H on it like a brand, H. Well, I wonder what that keyhole's for in the bottom there. 
Anyone seen one of those before? Uh, nice details there. It's got like a, a Porsche badge, the fuel cap on the bonnet, and some radiator uh, air intake grills on the back. Mmm, cute little model. Now, open this one last, or open last one. I wonder why this one has to be last. Ta-da! <laughs> Good things are worth waiting for. <laughs> This is a genuine matchbox trolley bus again. London trolley bus, and I believe has he done this one up or something? I think this has been done up. He's done it. Yeah, he, he has. He's done a makeover on this, and it looks good. All I need is the stickers, and that can go straight into the cupboard along with the others. He's done a bloody good job on that. Check that out. What well on Mika Mikolage? I'm going to put that in my collection. I'm going to get some stickers. I'll show you later on in another video what I do with that one. I'm going to leave it as is because you've done a good job on that. And I'm going to put the stickers on it and put it in the cupboard with all the others. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. I love it. All right, number four today is from Bird in the UK. Simply Bird. That's all it says on the package. One word, the word is the bird. <laughs> What is the mystery of this package? By the way, Bird, if you're watching, send me a tweet and uh, you know, maybe we can talk. <laughs> I couldn't resist that, sorry. Right, let's have a look. Uh, it's a toy. And it is from the UK. Uh, no address, just says Bird on there. I think I've had one from Bird once before too, because I remember. I'm intrigued. A Freightliner box. What does this say? Hi Marty, this is the trailer to go with the Bedford tractor in your unboxing video number 21. Les Bird. What number is this unboxing? I forget. 50 or something. No, it's not 50. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's have a look. Les, Les. Nice box, by the way. Aha. I get it. Look at that, there. Yes! Oh, wow! Well, this it goes with the Bedford tractor in your unboxing video number 21. I've done one of these. I'll just go get it, shall I? Right there. Right, this is the one Les sent me. And this is the one that I did. And I'm wondering... Oh, I thought it was a double whammy like this, like a road train, but no. That's actually the same. So that is interchangeable with this one, obviously. There you go. It looks quite at home there, isn't it? Now I'm going to have to find another one of these. Uh, I might have one actually. I'm going to have to dig it out. So that's going to be great. I really enjoyed doing this one because these were some of the better decals that I've made uh, in my life. And they actually turned out quite like the originals. Although the definition on the originals is a hell of a lot better. And I'm also going to have to 3D print a new door for this one so yeah I'm quite excited about that that's awesome thank you very much Les right Oliver Oliver from Germany is this a letter I think it might be Oliver uh, R V L uh, uh, something like that <laughs> I can't read it. Oliver, our real verse. Oh. From Germany. This isn't a letter, it's a dispatch, no dispatch notice from the German post office. So, no letter there. Oh, something exciting in there. These are well packaged. Dear Marty, Oliver... Avila, Avila from Krefeld, Deutschland. 
Dear Marty, first I have to say thank you for your brilliant videos and little stories and jokes. While restoring all these beautiful Matchbox models, I'm always looking forward to every new video. My name is Oliver. I'm 42 years old from West Germany, 30 kilometers from Dusseldorf. Last summer I got a model 26B Foden cement mixer. This model I had got from my father when I was a kid. So I found your videos on YouTube and also started collecting and restoring the regular wheels models. Sorry to my wife Jenny. Normally I rebuild old Vespa scooters, enjoying trips around Europe and visiting scooter meets with guys of our club. The Vespa Touring Club Kempen. This package includes some gifts from our club. There are also some restorable models and some spare models parts, which you can probably use for some projects. The Orange Bedford Milk Van is not a Matchbox car, as I th first thought. It's made by Ben Bros. The model is nearly identical to Lesney's 29A Bedford, but you might find out the differences. Please continue restoring Matchbox models and make all of us smile while watching your YouTube videos. Please also say thank you to Julie and everybody who gives you a helping hand. All right, will do, Oliver. Thank you very much from rainy Germany. Let's have a look. First up, these are some uh, gifts from the the Vespa Touring Club Kempen. Is that what's Kempen mean? Is that is that a place, or does it mean something in German? I'm not sure. So what have we got here? We've got a car sticker, which I like. I uh, might put that on my motorbike helmet, actually. 1983. No, actually, don't do that. Don't put stickers on your motorbike helmet. Because when you fall off, you hit the ground, and it, it might make your head stick to the road momentarily. True. And snap your neck. <laughs> That's true. Because, <laughs> the, you know, the gum might affect the, the surface of the, of the helmet. So don't put stickers on your helmet. Uh, there's a nice cloth patch. That sounds like <laughs> shit. It's true. It's true. It's true, and a nice, a beautiful little enamel badge there that is just a treat to look at, because I do love enamel badges. They're so well-defined. I'll show you those. And now let's have a look at the cars. This is like a little chocolate box here, look. Ooh, and everything is triple wrapped by the looks of it. So we might just cut whilst I unwrap them all. Ready? Quite the effort unpackaging all those. However, I am pleasantly surprised at the selection. Over here we have some military vehicles, and this one here, the radio van, which is number Austin radio truck it is, uh, number 63. And if you look at that, that is as good as you're gonna get. It looks like it's straight out of the box. So that's a beauty. This half track's in pretty good condition too. Just needs the tracks on it. Nothing more to do to it. Anyway, uh, where's that one here? This is the one where he said is it is not a matchbox. It's a Ben Brothers. Well, have a look at that. Compare it to this one here, and you can see what he says is right. They're almost exactly the same. This one here has even got crimped axles, and the it is a it is a real dead set copy of this uh, matchbox version. It's uh, quite uncanny to look at them side by side like that. Must look up Ben Brothers. It says made in England. So obviously they must have gone out on a limb there and tried to compete with Lesney maybe. Have a look. There we go. Slightly smaller scale if anything. So we've got the snow plow with no snow plow on it. We've got the these ones here with no wheels. Uh, this one here has been separated. Uh, obviously work in progress. Um, never seen one of those in that color before, that blue. Don't know if that's original or not. Possibly, I have to look into that. These are just a nice classic selection of vehicles. The ones that I grew up with, in fact. All these here I probably had as a kid, thinking about it. Yeah, these, uh, this one here has been repainted, so that definitely needs a bit of love and care, that one there. That will come up nice, stripped down, uh, new duck egg blue paint scheme and stickers. And this one here um, has a door missing off the back, I'm guessing. of I'm not familiar with the model. There's no number on it and there's no name on it. No markings on it whatsoever. Oh, inside it says Lesney. 
inside. But yeah, nothing on the outside. So interesting set of little cars. I, this one's inter I find that very intriguing, this one here. These will be great for spare parts. I like that in that blue color. Never knew they did it like that. Might have to do one up in that color. This one here, just falling to pieces. The super fast trailer. First of a kind for me, I believe. Uh, once again, you can see how they've modified the original casting with a piece of plastic there to hold these super fast wheels in. They must have like gone into panic mode and had to redesign every single model they had in their, their line. So, very good set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 models from Oliver in Germany. Thank you very much, Oliver. A very, very generous uh, donation there. Last one today. What can it be? A big Christmas cracker. And it's from Anonymous in the UK. Okay, this is from Daydream Education Unit. Uh, it's a laminated poster. Oh, and it's of the United Kingdom. Global Mapping United Kingdom. Now, this map is actually a little bit more detailed than the other one that I've got. And in actual fact, some people have mentioned or sent me messages saying that that map actually has some cities in the wrong spot. So I'm wondering whether I should swap that one with this one because this one's got a lot more place names on it for starters. And it's far more detailed, which would make it easier to put the pins in more accurately. So I might do that and I hope no one's offended by the fact that I'm going to swap them out because obviously somebody went to a lot of bother to send me that one but I think this one would be better for the purposes of uh, putting the pins in and I don't know who it's from it's just from anonymous in the UK so whoever you are thank you very much uh, and for taking the time to send it to me from educational laminated posters.com so that's awesome I'll just show it to you again How's that? It's got a lot more detail on it. So thank you very much for that, Mr. Anonymous, who I, whoever you are from the UK. So that's the end of today's unboxing. I hope you found it enjoyable. Uh, there's just one more thing to do, and that is put some pins in the map. First up today, Mr. Lewis from Peterborough. Uh, Peterborough is actually marked on this map, so that makes it quite easy. I'll uh, whack that in right there. Here we go. That is for Mr. Lewis. Okay, Mikolaj from Poland. I don't know where in Poland you are, so I'm going to put it in Warsaw because that's pretty much Poland as far as I'm aware. Here we go. That's yours, the white one. Now I'm going to put three in uh, London. Why? Because Mark Davis is from London. Uh, Les Bird is from the UK, but I don't know from where, so London's as good as anywhere. And the anonymous one for the map came from the UK. So I'm going to put all these three in here. So this yellow one is for Les Bird. All right. The green one is for Mr. Mark Davis. And the red one is for the anonymous map donor. And when I put the new map up, I'm going to remove all these and put them in the new map. So there we go. Last one today is Oliver Avila from Krefeld in Deutschland, which according to my calculations is near Essen. So I'm going to put that one in there, look. And that pink one there is for you, Oliver. So thank you for everyone for con contributing this week to this fantastic unboxing video. And I hope you've all enjoyed it. And until next week, this is Marty saying, see you later. Goodbye.